Hey guys, what is up? Stub Nation here with another video. This time on Diamond Dynasty, I'm going to be doing a challenge, and that challenge is making my team consisting of all first round picks. Now, you may not be thinking that's much of a challenge, because most of the guys drafted in the first round are actually pretty good, but in this case, you know, there's some guys that are actually questionable, but, you know, all in all, it's a pretty good team, so I decided why not, I'll have some fun with it. It'll be interesting. So we'll hop straight into the game here. Justin Verlander is my pitcher. And he's facing Corey Seager for the first batter of the game. He gets a base hit right up the middle. So not a great start for Justin Verlander. But we'll see if he can get out of this unscathed. Next batter is George Springer. High and fastball to him. And he bunts it to second base. And there's no one there. He reaches easily with the bunt single. And people that do this bunt cheese in online, it really irks me. I don't know how they enjoy playing if they just bunt all the time. I... I'm at a loss for words, honestly. I've gotten screwed over so many times from people that bunt cheese. But, hey man, if, if they like doing it, then I guess that's okay. But I think it's really annoying. So now V-Mart's up, two outs, and he hits a fly ball. Or actually a pop-up right behind the plate. Brian McCann is going to make the catch with ease. And that's going to get Verlander out of the jam. So now we go to the bottom of the first inning with one out. Chris Bryant's the batter. And he gets a pitch he likes from Hinjin Ryu, the other guy's pitcher. And the shortstop knocks it down, but he can't make it throw to first. So we have a runner on now for Paul Canerco, my first baseman. And with one out, the first pitch of the at-bat is going to be a curveball that he grounds right to the second baseman. And that's going to get us out of the inning. So kind of unfortunate there, but Paul Canerco just couldn't get anything done. Move on to the bottom of the second inning. Bryce Harper's hitting to lead off and he hits a deep drive to left center field that ball is gonna be gone so Bryce Harper puts us ahead one nothing with a clutch home run and then next up we have Jeff Francoeur who gets a base hit into left field so it looks like we're gonna start up a rally here we're gonna score a lot of runs right well Neil Walker grounds to third baseman for a 5-4-3 double play essentially killing any rally we would have had. So that's kind of bad. But now we move on to Verlander facing Corey Seager. He hits one to the left center field gap. We can't get there. So Harper feels it up against the wall, throws it in. And this guy, my opponent, has a runner on second now. And now we fast forward with two outs. He strikes out swinging with George Springer to end the inning. Now he goes to the bottom of the fourth inning. Paul Canerco is hitting. And he gets a fastball inside, turns on it, hits it deep to left field. That one is gone. Paul Canerco puts us up 2-0. Very next batter, Bryce Harper, once again, gets a base hit in the right field. So, once again, it looks like we're set up to score even more runs. Looks like we're going to get a rally going, but Jeff Francoeur grounds into a 6-3 double play to end it. So, I grinded to a lot of double plays this game. I couldn't really get anything going but the long ball on offense. My opponent really couldn't get anything going either, so I guess it kind of worked out. Except for right here, where Chris Bryant just couldn't come up with the bunt. And once again, it goes right back to the bunt cheese I was talking about. It's really annoying. If you play online, please don't do it. So, he tries to steal with his base runner, but we make the catch. It's a pop-up bunt, and we throw over the first to get the force out to end the inning, so I thought that was pretty funny. That's just karma, kind of. And here we catch him stealing to third. He tries to go back, but we just tag him right in the back. So that didn't work out for him either very well. So here we go, Paul Canerco hitting once again, hits a deep drive to right field. That ball's gonna bring him all the way back to the wall, but he hauls it in, and we don't get any runs. So now Verlander facing Justin Turner. Turner lines one up the box for a base hit. And this is where I was thinking, maybe it's time to take out Verlander. He looks like he's getting a little bit tired. So I bring in Jeremy Jeffers to face V-Mart, right? And then V-Mart bites me. He hits a two-run home run to left center field to tie the game. And I was really disappointed right there. But we brought in Chris Sale the next inning. He's 0-2 to Jose Abreu. He gets him on the changeup. Absolutely filthy. Next up, Corey Seager, 2-2 count. High and in fastball, no chance of hitting that. And next up, we have, I believe that is, I'm not sure who that is, but he pops out to center field to end the inning. 
So Chris Sale pitches a 1-2-3 inning. He's absolutely dirty. If you don't have him, go pick him up right now. He will make your bullpen 10 times better. Now Reggie Jackson hitting. Deep drive, right center field. That will give us the lead. Reggie Jackson with a clutch home run. 3-2 now. Jared Saltalamacchia hitting. He gets a base hit up the middle too. He's not great against lefties, but I didn't have anyone else on the bench to put in. So I was kind of stuck to do that. Now Francisco Lindor against Diekman. And he hits a two-run home run to right center field to almost the same spot as Reggie Jackson. So now we're up 5-2. to two. And in the ninth, we bring in Billy Wagner to close it out. And he gets Turner to pop out to left field for the first out. My opponent got a base hit before that. That's why he has a runner on. The next batter is Victor Martinez, who hit the home run earlier. This time... He hits a little pop-up to first base, it falls, but Wagner just tosses it to first to Canerco to get the second out. Now, with two outs, my opponent tries to steal home, but we just slap the tag on him, and that is the game. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, where I do challenges in Diamond Dynasty, be sure to let me know in the comment section. And st I'm Stub Nation, and I'm out. Hey guys, what is up? Stub Nation here with another video, this time on Diamond.